this is not gonna work out well. All right, I probably should have thought this out before I, okay. Um, I'm gonna attempt, to... you know what? Let's just roll right into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back, homies, homettes, if that is even a word. Uh, I put out a thing on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, this is exactly why you should do so. I put out a poll on there asking if you guys would wanna see my 2020 Rod and Reel Arsenal. And almost every single one of you said, heck yeah! Personally, I don't really love making these kinds of videos because I'm not one to like care about materialistic things. I'm not trying to stunt on anybody. I guess maybe some of you guys just like to see what I'm working with because you're curious what I'm fishing. I don't know. Every day that I wake up, I wonder how the heck I spent so much money on fishing gear. Probably just taking me further and further into debt, but it is what it is. You, 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 you like what you like and you love what you love, right? I'm gonna try and do this bait casters and spinning reels separate. I think I'll start with the spinning reels because they're kind of on top in this gnarly pile of rods. Every single one of these setups are actually new and uh, they are what I'm currently using. I, I have a lot more rods in this, but I don't really use them that much. I may be getting rid of some of them, so I just figured I'll show you guys exactly what I'll be using this year and what's gonna be in my boat this year. I'm going to attempt to start with spinning reels here if I don't just drop everything off this counter. Right here I have this setup right here. You guys might recognize this from a video that I most recently made. I actually have never fished with this rod yet. I'm still waiting to get out there and test it out. Uh, hopefully we can do that soon, but this is the Daiwa Arid. That's the rod right here. This is a medium heavy, I believe this one is. Model, yep, medium heavy. And I have it on a 3000 size Shimano Sahara. It's a really cool looking setup. Looks like all gold and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's what I got right off the bat. That's my one of my new spinning reels for this year. And uh, I'm gonna attempt to just set these up behind me and hopefully they don't fall. All right, numero dos. This setup isn't that new, but it is newer to me. This right here is a one of my favorite spinning reels ever, and that is the Daiwa Fuego. Love these things. And I have it on a Abu Garcia Veritas. This is a little bit smaller. This is a 2000 size reel. I like to use this for like Ned rigs, worms, things like that. It's just a nice little pond hopping setup. Let's see, another spinning reel that I'm using this year, if I can get it out is this guy. I actually got this at the end of the summer last year and I've grown to really, really, really love this rod. This rod I had purchased at the end of the summer. This is like my main walleye rod, but I do actually really love this setup in general. Uh, this right here is a 13 fishing fate. I really do like 13's rods. I never was that experienced with 13. Uh, this is actually my first product by them that I've ever owned and I have nothing but good things to say about it. It's kind of cool, it's lime green, it's a little different. Right here I have a matte black PC Fun uh, reel. This company sent me this reel to test it out. I believe this is the Carbon X. Is Yeah, the Carbon X is the name of the spinning reel. I've been super pleased with this reel so far. It's been very nice. I'm very impressed with the quality of it for the price. They sent me this reel and you know, after testing it out, I decided to keep it because it is that nice of a reel. So that's cool. It's like my walleye setup for Lake Erie and when I'm jigging, and things like that. So now the last spinning reel that I have right here is brand new. I just got this this week. I fished with it a little bit, but I haven't caught anything on it. I love this setup. I honestly will have more to say about this pretty soon here because I actually have to do a full review on this rod. This rod was sent to me by a company called Toadfish and uh, I'm not gonna say much yet, but this may be what I convert everything over to. I love this spinning rod so much. It's unbelievable. I'm super fortunate for the company reaching out to me and sending it to me. Thank you so much for that. And uh, I have it with another Daiwa Fuego on here. This might be my new favorite setup of all time. Um, I have a lot more to say about this rod right here, but uh, you know that, that review video is gonna be coming soon when I go out fishing with it. So stay tuned for that. Uh, really cool rod, it's like a turquoise color. It's actually a saltwater rod. All right, let's jump into bait casters now, shall we? Numero uno, we have another Abu Garcia Veritas, and uh, these rods are pretty good. Honest to God, guys, I'm not that in love with Abu Garcia Veritas. Uh, you know, I got a couple of them on a trade. I traded my cousin for them, and uh, some of these might even be my cousins, to be honest with you. We, we share setups a lot. Like He really only fishes when he goes. So I pretty much just hang on to his rods in the meantime. So. Um, this setup I believe is mine though, 
and uh, this is the Daiwa Totula on an Amber Garcia Veritas. Nice setup, can't complain. Uh, let's grab another one since I literally have the exact same setup. Uh, I don't even know why I brought it out. I have another Abu Garcia with a Daiwa Tatula on it. This is just a heavier duty rod that I use for different reasons. So literally the exact same thing that I just showed you, but I got two of them. All right, another one we got here in front of me is one of my favorite rods of all time and reels. We got a Shimano Corrado on a Ducket Ghost. These Ducket Ghosts are one of the most sensitive nice rods I've ever used in my life. I absolutely love them. Slick little silver on white. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get them out of the way. I have another Shimano Corrado, exact same reel, different ratio. I have this on a St. Croix Bass X. Uh, these St. Croix Bass X are pretty new. I like them, they're nice. I have another Shimano Corrado on another St. Croix Bass X. This is a heavier rod. This is like my frogging rod. So there's that. Uh, another St. Croix Bass X with a Daiwa Tatula. Another similar rod setup to the one I just showed you guys, different reel. And then last and final, I really don't use this one that much, but I probably always bring it with me. This is like my like whatever setup. It is a Abu Garcia Revo SX Premier. This is actually a very expensive reel. And uh, I do keep it in the arsenal because I do hold this reel kind of close to my heart. One of my good buddies got me this for my birthday and um, it's a very expensive reel. Not sure why it costs that much, but it is indeed a nice reel. I'm not gonna argue with it and it's kind of something that I'll always have on me just because it has sentimental value. It is actually on a PC Fun rod. I also got this rod sent to me by that company who sold me that uh, black reel. This is the Serpent Rod. This rod actually surprised me. I don't think it's the best thing out there, but it is different and it does have a really good feel to it. I do like the golf grip. This is the only rod that I have with a golf grip and uh, it's been a great multi-purpose rod. Uh, yeah, another rod that I'm very fortunate to have just because um, you know, doing things like this here on YouTube, I got it sent to me. So I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you guys. A lot of these setups I have got gifted to me or given to me. I didn't buy everything. I don't think I could afford to buy everything. So I'm not gonna act like I'm some baller YouTuber or anything like that, because I'm not. So there you guys have it. That's my 2020 arsenal. These are the rods that I'm specifically bringing on the boat with me all the time. I'm picking from them to go pond hopping, whatever it may be. Uh, I take all these rods out with me. Usually I bait them up with something and me and my friends share them. A lot of my buddies who go fishing with me, they don't even buy rod setups. They just use mine because uh, I'm very fortunate to have what I have and I don't mind sharing. So. There you guys have it. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, or I don't know, yeah, just say whatever. Say what's up if you want to. If you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button. I hope you guys are enjoying that content. There's plenty more to come. The weather is hopefully gonna get better and hopefully, you know, the other stuff going on in the world is gonna get better so we can actually get out. I'm dying to break my boat out and go fishing. I wanna use all these rods and I wanna catch some more juicy big fish. There you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.